Andy Weber, who's been enthusiastically developing in C++ for the defense and financial industries for the last 10 years. He's going to spend the next five minutes explaining why you should be terrified of strict aliasing. <laughs> That's hard. That's a hard sell, terror at 8 a.m. But okay, we'll go for it. You may, you may be scared. And the essential keys to avoid violating it. Good. This is my first lightning talk, so uh, forgive me if it's terrible. So, strict aliasing, I'd like to talk about it. My name is Andy Weber. Um, it's a subject that uh, I've learned a lot about lately. <clears throat> if you have questions, please ask me afterward. If you completely disagree with me, tell me afterward because I would like to know because I want to compile the best information about this and get it out to the public. It's a subject I think a lot of people don't know about, um, and it, it scared me when I learned about it, so maybe it'll scare you. So, so don't break the rules. What are the rules? This is uh, 3.10.10 from the standard. The C rules are, are basically the same. What this says is that you can access the stored value of, a, of memory through the dynamic type of the value. Not sure what happened to the monitor over there. Uh, so the dynamic type of the value or a care or unsigned care type. Otherwise, undefined behavior, which as we all know is very bad. OK, does this work? This code takes a UN32. We want to swap the two halves of it. This is kind of low level C code. You might have something like this in your code base. So we take a pointer to a UN16 and we swap the two sides of it, the, the two array pieces. This does not work, or it's not guaranteed to work, because we are aliasing the 32-bit value through a 16-bit value. That's not a 32-bit UN32, and it's not a care. Not guaranteed to work. Some people try to get clever. You might have heard that you can use a union to do this. So let's take a union, UN32. And it, in this case, it's an N16, but it doesn't matter. So N16, uh, size to array. We reinterpret cast our 32-bit value to a pointer to that, and we do it through the union. That should work, right? No. So let's take a different union. Well, actually, it's the same union. We're going to take the same union, and in this case, it's, it's a union of, of values of the types that we care about but we're gonna have essentially a value of the union. And we're going to copy into one side of it and copy out of the other side of it. Slightly different example. This case does work or is guaranteed to work but only on GCC because it's a GCC extension to uh, type pun through uh, unions, but only in this very special case uh, where you copy in and out of it. Uh, a lot of people think that it's C99, but it's not. So GCC also has a may alias attribute, which basically says, I know what I'm doing. I want this thing to be able to alias anything else. And in GCC's case, uh, so we basically make a type def to a, a may alias uint 16 t And if we cast through that, GCC says that, that this will work. Uh, although getting this right is a little bit tricky. And of course, it's not portable. So what do we have left? We can just not do this by using F no strict aliasing on GCC and Clang. Uh, Visual Studio, I believe, <clears throat> doesn't have this aliasing problem as much. But it's, of course, not guaranteed. They can just change it at any time in any version. Uh, so we reinterpret cast. It works because we've turned uh, TBAA off, which is type-based aliasing information. Uh, and this, this does work. So, or this is what the committee says. They, says, they say, use memcopy, which is, is the code is much less friendly. Um, but we're basically casting to a care pointer and copying through memcopy. Why does this work? Well, if you notice, memcopy has void or care pointers as the arguments. You're always allowed to view your memory as bytes because that's the way that the OS works. Read, write, mem copy, mem set. So, so this is guaranteed to work because we're aliasing through care pointers. 
So this kind of code, you may have seen it all over the place, low-level code, especially network libraries, uh, serialization, deserialization. Current modern code that's being produced definitely has this problem in the wild, uh, including uh, market data from uh, certain exchanges. Um, there's uh, F's no strict aliasing. The Linux kernel turns it off. Uh, Linus has choice words about this optimization. Um, LibEvent, some other libraries, I'm sure, also turn it off. But we have seen real-world performance uh, losses when you turn it off. So it's kind of unfortunate. Um, I asked GCC help, and I got inconclusive answers about whether or not placement new would actually do what you want it to do here. And uh, just this morning, I heard uh, from Jason Merrill that he asked the C++ uh, the C++ st core standards mailing list, and they said the value of the thing after the placement new is indeterminate, so no, no type punning through placement new. So why don't we have alias cast? Well, it would work only on systems uh, that allow uh, non-aligned memory access, and that's x86 and new arms, which is a lot of the world. So maybe we could have this, but we don't right now. So be aware. Thank you.